How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about your new 2019 congressional freshman class. You got a few new senators and quite a few new House reps. We'll talk about a few people here today, most notably, of course, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez and Rashida Tlaib. If that's how you pronounce her name, I'm not quite sure. I want to say Rashida Tlaib, but her name is actually spelled T L A I B rather than T-A-L-I-B. So I don't know how to pronounce that, but we'll leave that right there for now and move right along. Let's get to the latter person I mentioned first. Have you seen this clip talking about we're going to impeach the mother effer? People love you and you win. And when your son looks at you and says, Mama, look, you won. Bullies don't win. And I no. said, baby, they don't. Because we're going to go in there and we're going to impeach the mother hey! Now, okay, you get in this big raucous applause and stuff like that, but really, let's just bring it on back down to earth. Think about it for a moment. What does impeachment mean? Impeachment simply means that you, in essence, bring the president up on charges to potentially get removed from office. Bill Clinton got impeached, but he did not get removed from office. That's two different things. So when you hear somebody say, oh, we're going to impeach him, it doesn't really mean much. Furthermore, this has got to be a whole effort from all government. The House got to be involved. The Senate got to be involved. And we have the majority Senate on the conservative side, Republican side. So how are you really going to get through that? And on what grounds would you have impeachment go forward? What is it to really get up on? The whole Russia thing been going on for a long time. There's nothing there. That is a true nothing burger. I mean, you're talking about two or three years with wiretaps, witnesses, all types of quote unquote evidence. You got guys that have gone to the penitentiary over this, over stupid stuff. Tax evasion, perjury, things that are kind of ticky tack that could really just be totally dismissed in different circumstances. But for this situation, they want to apply pressure to these individuals so they can find something on Trump, but there's nothing being found yet. No smoking gun, nothing that's going to get Trump in any kind of trouble. So, again, I ask to anybody that's out there talking about applause, this is a good thing. On what grounds will you actually be able to file your impeachment claim? You have a guy in office right now, Brad Sherman from California, and he's filed articles of impeachment this year. He filed them last year as well. In all of last year, from any kind of impeachment articles that have been filed by Brad Sherman and maybe others, you've only had about 19 Democrats that have co-sponsored them, which means you don't have that much support from the Democrats about the whole impeachment thing. I mean, it's cool to go out there and talk to people and sound like you a big, bad, tough guy, girl, whatever you want to identify as Rashida, but it doesn't mean that what you're talking about is going to go anywhere. It won't go anywhere because it hasn't gone anywhere and there's nothing to really base your impeachment threat on but moving right along to the next individual alexandria ocasio cortez now for this video i'll call her aoc for short to make it really easy and plain to see what i'm talking about now aoc is already talking about all kind of crazy stuff talking about the new green deal you know if you make a the tippy tops of the earners you're going to get taxed like 70 percent of your income and all kind of crazy stuff. And there's also this video that came out of her dancing on the rooftop. Now, I'm seeing this be reported by the lamestream media as if Republicans or conservatives are somehow upset or outraged at this video. I mean, who cares? This video, number one, has been out for a long time. I saw it like at least two or three months ago. So the media is talking about oh, what just got leaked. Republicans leaked it. Obviously, this was something that was produced and meant to be shared with people. It wasn't like you know, she was in her hotel dorm room and was with dancing to Drake and said the N-word or something like that. And then they got out to the media and then it was a big outrage. Nah, nobody cares about that video. She was just dancing on the rooftop and she looked kind of goofy, honestly. She looked like somebody's little sister just dancing in her socks. You know, that's not that's nothing for anybody to even be worried about at all. So when you hear or read the media say that conservatives are upset about that video they're not being truthful nobody, that's not really a thing nobody cares about that video at all 
especially not in today's day and age where we've been kind of desensitized to all that kind of stuff. If it was a porno or something like that, that'd be a little bit different. You know, if you could find some kind of homemade tape where it was really inappropriate stuff going on, some nude photos or something, that'd be different. Okay. But dancing on the rooftop with your college shirt on looking like a little sister, that is totally nothing. Nobody cares about that at all. Not in the least bit. That's just a total nothing burger. Then you have Christian Cinema, who was the first bisexual woman. I don't even know all these first. You know, I hate when they say, oh, the first black female under the age of 47 that comes from Detroit, Michigan, that has one bum leg to become a like. Don't nobody care about all that. I don't care about all these first this, first that. Are you going to be good at your job or not? And if I was living in the area upon which they have jurisdiction, I'd be more concerned about are they going to do the right thing for me and for those in my community, not about their particular sexual orientation or whatever they identify as. I don't care if you identify as Thomas in the tank engine, a pair of Timberland boots, rain, the sun, whatever it is, that's your business. Just make sure you do a good job in office. But for now, I digress. It was this guy on Twitter with a check mark, a blue check mafia member talking about, oh, Mike Pence looks uncomfortable swearing in Christian Cinema. It's like he looks really normal at home. He's not uncomfortable. You got cameras everywhere. His wife is probably like right off the set somewhere. Why would he be uncomfortable? And you can see the footage. He looks very normal. He's telling her, okay, put your hand on this. And matter of fact, that was a law book right there. I think it wasn't actually a Bible. I could be wrong, could be right, but let's move on. He looked very normal, giving her pointers about how to do the thing, swearing her in, and then that was it. Nobody really cares about her being bisexual. I didn't even know about that until I read it from this guy's particular Twitter page. And it might not even be true. I don't even really believe everything I read. So who cares? I don't live in Arizona. And if I did live in Arizona, like I said, it'd be more about what are they going to do for my particular area to help the area be stable or to become better. That is pretty much it. You have a lot of these people that are coming into Congress for the first time and also those that have been there for a long time who are embracing them, just trying to act like they've made the biggest move ever in history. I don't think these people are really going to do anything. They've approved a bill for the government funding that has no border wall funding in it. So that's not going to go anywhere. Already, they're proving themselves to be ineffective from all this bluster, from all this huffing and puffing. You're passing stuff that won't go anywhere. The Senate won't even waste their time with it because they know that Trump's going to veto the bill. So why would the Senate even do anything about that? Your energy should be focused on things that are actually going to push needle forward rather than things that you know won't go anywhere. If I lived in the area, of one of these house reps that passed this bill that won't go anywhere and they knew it wouldn't go anywhere... I'll be upset. I'm like, okay, I know there are more important things you got to be dealing with. There are plenty of bills coming in. There are plenty of issues need to be tackled. You're talking about safety, the economy, uh, health care, all kind of stuff like that. You should be focused on rather than just trying to focus on trying to attack Trump and be a never Trumper. It'd be interesting to see who on the right joins those on the left in their never Trump stance. In the House and the Senate, the total Congress. Will Mitt Romney be that guy? I don't really know. It's hard to tell. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. But 2020 is going to be the true gauge of what has gone on during this freshman class of new congressional people, especially the House reps. It's going to be Trump time again. He's going to win. I think you're going to see Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez be the nominee in 2024. I know I said 2020 last time, but I wasn't thinking that she's only 28 or 29 years old. She's not old enough. But again, I'm not Albert Einstein over here, but I think in 2024 will be five years from now. So she may be old enough to do it then. You know, if she turned 29 last year in 2018, she'll be 30 this year which puts her 
at 35 come 2024. So we'll see how that goes. Um, she probably has the best chance, although she has nothing going on up here. Okay, so people in New York will have to deal with her while she's there for a couple of years or six years, however long she's there, and then they'll see what happens. It'll be interesting to see how all this plays out, how AOC does. They're going to try to put her in the front runner for the president in 2024, uh, how others that have been there for a long time are going to feel about that how some House Democrats are going to rebel against the crazy individuals coming in there talking about MF this, MF that, tax a thousand percent. We'll see how all that goes, but that's pretty much all I got. So what say you? Do you think that all these people in the House that have been elected new, the rebel Democrats, the raucous Democrats are going to actually do anything? They've already put a bill out there that won't go anywhere. What about anything else? Would it get anything else accomplished? How about the Republicans? How about a new Senate? We have more of a majority in the Senate, although you have uh, Mitt Romney in there. Will he be a wild card? Will he do things that are going to appease the Democrats and go against Republicans? Or is he there to be a mole of sorts in the Republican Party, to be a never Trumper? How do you feel about 2020? How do you feel about 2024? And how do you feel about all the threats about impeachment and stuff like that coming from the left? Will they go anywhere or will they do like they did last time they were announced in 2017 and go absolutely nowhere? Whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.